of a public meeting of the City Commission of the City of Brownsville pursuant to Chapter 551, Title 5 of the Texas Government Code, the Texas Open Meetings Act. Notice is hereby given that the City of Commission of the City of Brownsville, Texas, in accordance with Article 5, Section 12 of the Charter of said city, will convene an executive session and a regular meeting on Tuesday, March 15, 2016 at 5.30 p.m. and at 6 p.m. in the Commission Chambers on the second floor of the Brown City Hall, Old Federal Building, located at 1001 East Elizabeth Street, Brownsville, Cameron County, Texas. Executive session, 5.30. say aye. 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 Motion carries. Regular meeting, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Uh, Reverend Jay Classen, would you please give us the invocation? Thank you, Mayor. I served in the United States Army for 37 years. A lot of people say thank you for your service. I want to say thank you for your service to our people at the city of Brownsville. Let's ask the Lord's blessing. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather together. And Lord, we ask that you would just bless this time together, that you would give wisdom and guidance in all decisions that are made. We thank you for these people that serve the people of the city of Brownsville. We ask that you would meet their each and every need, and we give you glory and praise. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Thank you so much, Reverend. Thank you, Brad. Action on, uh, action on items discussed in the executive session. Item A, discussing the possible action on the resolution numbers 2016-0114 through resolution number 2016-018, approving or rejecting bid offers received on the tax resale properties on November 3rd, 2015. Motion. motion to approve. One through four. One, all of them except 2016-018. Right. One second. through four. One through one four. Through four. four. Okay, four. we got a, a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item one, mayor's activity update. Um, just making a real quick, I wanted to thank everybody that was involved in Char Days, uh, including each and every one of the uh, city staff, uh, did a beautiful job, not only of taking care of Mr. Amigo, but also in um, all the, the, the police that took care of all the security uh, Charlie, thank you so much for everything that you did. Thank you, the Mayor. parades, the cleanup, um, you're to be commended, and I want to thank you, just like the Reverend said. Uh, Reverend, they did yeoman service, so I want to thank them for that. And then the other thing is, God willing, um, this coming Tuesday uh, at the event center uh, on the 22nd of March, we will be doing the State of the City. Uh, there are some complimentary uh, sponsors that will be uh, provided some tables, but other than that, the admission will be open to all of the public. Uh, we welcome everybody to come. The only restriction will be if our fire chief tells us that we're violating a code of any kind. Uh, and hopefully we have enough of a crowd that uh, that might be a, a situation which we'd like to take care of. Uh, we'll try to make as many provisions as possible. Uh, we are featuring the farmer's market uh, and all their products. We'll be giving away a few t-shirts, uh, a lot of t-shirts, and some, some of the items that you can get at the farmer's market. Uh, the theme of it, of the uh, uh, state of the city is be Brownsville. And so God willing, we'll be able to talk about all the things that all these wonderful commissioners are doing uh, within their districts and the things that hopefully uh, you all can get involved in with your districts and with the city 
Uh, we will have voter registration to have a voter registration drive. So it will be very civic minded in trying to get everybody involved because uh, this city belongs to all of you. So uh, please come and it should be a great time. Uh, we'll have a little bit of entertainment uh, and a whole lot of information, hopefully. That's all I have. Item number two, Commissioner's Activity Update. I think there's a Ciclovia coming up. Yes, I want to remind everyone that this Sunday we'll have our first in the series of Ciclovia 2016, so please come out um, and enjoy the hopefully beautiful weather and uh, spring break atmosphere. There will also be during Ciclovia a uh, ribbon cutting for the new playground, the Kaboom playground that um, the community got together and built, compliments of uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield at Paraxodiva Park. So do we have a time for the ribbon cutting? Does anyone know? Roxanne? 2.15. At 2.15 will be the ribbon cutting within the uh, Ciclovia time. Again, we always have free bicycle rentals uh, available for the people. And you can enjoy a view of the um, uh, still undergoing wonderful renovation of the city cemetery, Risaka. So come out and enjoy Sunday with the family. Anyone else? I just wanted to make a comment about the stoplight on Austin and Minnesota. The Brownsville Herald did a very um, nice article about it for two and a half years the city commission has been working on placing the light that's at the corner of austin minnesota we've had fatalities we've had a lot of accidents i believe our police chief quoted 35 in the last six months um, so we definitely are moving very quickly to get that light up to make sure that nobody else has um, any more injuries or worse at that corner. Um, one of the things that we're very excited to be working on, city staff and myself, um, are looking at putting sidewalks along Perkins. And so that is something we're working on. And hopefully by next school year, <laughs> we will have a safe passageway to get you from your home to Perkins Middle School. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. One, one quick note, Mayor, um, if I may, sir. I want to thank Charlie uh, along those lines because uh, one of the problems we have as a city in the long term is our traffic congestion. And I know that they are working. I mean, the city manager's office is working on fixing all that. I know there's a lot of stoplights, especially along the expressway underneath 77, 802, Ruben Torres, Boca Chica. So I just want to make everybody aware that the city is working on trying to find a solution. I know that traffic gets really bad, especially rush hour. So the city manager's office is actually working to solve that. So going along the lines with the stoplight. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Commissioner. All right. Item number three, consent agenda items. Items A through K. Move, move to approve uh, all consent items. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion <laughs> carries. Item number four. Item number four, boards and commissions, consideration action to appoint or reappoint two members of the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board Committee. Good evening. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and City Commission. Um, we are needing an uh, appointment or reappointment of uh, two Parks Advisory Board members. Their terms expire on the 16th. I'd like to move to appoint Pablo Leal. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And. Um, I move to select Mr. Richard M. Perez. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Item, Item number five, five, public hearings. Public hearing in action on ordinance number 2016-1614 regarding an interlocal agreement governing a territory exchange between the city of Browns and the city of Los Fresnos. Honorable Mayor, Commissioner, Commissioners, um, as indicated, back in 2009, we entered into a interlocal agreement with the city of Los Fresnos in which we ceded some of our ETJ uh, to, that, to that city. Uh, in turn, over the years, the city of Los Fresnos has long been supportive of us uh, in our uh, in litigation and legislation as well as just we've always had a good working relationship with them. They ratified this interlocal agreement in 2015. Today we bring to you a potential territory exchange, small areas of town to the north along Highway 100, in which we would cede uh, a bit of our territory in exchange for some uh, Los Fresnos ETJ to come to us. We have uh, representatives actually from the city of Los Fresnos here. 
We have Polo Nevarez, he is the mayor. We have uh, Mark Milam, city manager. Javier Mendez is the mayor pro tem. And uh, Henry Juarez is the city attorney. Good to see all of you and, and, and welcome to, to our city meeting. Thank you for being here. So as indicated, given our uh, history of good relations with the city of Los Fresnos, I would ask that you pass this uh, ordinance. Okay. Motion. And, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, this is a public hearing, so will you have a comment, Commissioner? No, no? it's going to close Okay, does anyone hearing. else have a comment? I think I, think I do want to thank the city of Los Fresnos for a wonderful relationship that we have. Couldn't be better neighbors. And Mark, you know, we've been working for a long time here together. So, um, if there's no public here, no no public comment other than that, I would hear a motion to close. But motion, motion to, to close. close. Okay. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, guys. Item number six, public hearing in action on first reading on ordinance number 235-2016-007 to rezone from dwelling A to general retail G for lots 21 and 22 of block two of the Alamo Heights subdivision located at 6066 South Padre Island Highway. Good evening, honorable mayor and city commissioners. Our first case, the applicant is requesting to rezone their property from dwelling A to general retail G. This property is located on South Padre Island Highway. So some of the uses that are permitted within dwelling, of course, they're, sing they're residential, single family homes, a school, church, college. Um, in the retail, some uses that are permitted are restaurants, uh, banks, hotel, offices. Those are just a few. This is the current zoning map of the area. Um, the subject property is outlined. The property next uh, to the left of the property is general retail. According to the future land use plan of the comprehensive plan, this property does fall within the linkage corridor. It is primarily for commercial and institutional land uses. This is just an aerial view of the property. Some existing land use um, around the property are um, O'Reilly's Auto Parts, there's a welding and recycling business, there is single family homes, and across the street there is a used car lot. And this is the current property. And the Planning and Zoning Commissioners recommend to approve. Okay, it's a public hearing. Any comments? Motion to close public hearing. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 I hear a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item number seven, public hearing and action on first reading on ordinance number 235-2016-013 to rezone from medium commercial to dwelling X for lot two of lot 205 of El Jardin Resub Division located on 6780 California Road. This applicant is also requesting to rezone their property from medium commercial X, down zoning it to dwelling X. This property is located on California Road. So some of the uses that are permitted with a medium commercial are um, gas stations, repair for tire, battery shop, um, and they want to rezone it to dwelling for single family um, homes. This is the current zoning map and the entire uh, area surrounding the property is medium commercial. Within the comprehensive plan of the future land use plan, it is within the employment hub district. This area is primarily for single homes, um, duplexes, triplexes. This map does show the, uh, it's because it is behind the airport. So this map just shows that it is in the safe zone from the airport. This is the existing land use map of the area of the subject property. There are already mobile homes around the area. And then just transportation um, to, um, businesses nearby. This is the area of view of the property. And this is the current property. And the planning and zoning commissioners recommend to approve. And this is for a for for residential. They want to rezone it for residential uses. 
to a zoned commercial and they want to make it residential. Yes. And what is staff recommendation? The Planning and Zoning Commissioners recommend to approve. Motion to close public comment. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item number eight, public hearing and action on first reading on ordinance number 235-2016-015 to rezone from dwelling G to professional office G for block 13 of share 19, track nine of El Jardin subdivision located near Old Prisbo Road and FM 802. This applicant is requesting to rezone their property from dwelling G to professional office G. This property is located on Old Prisbo Road and their proposed use is for an assisted living facility. Um, as you know, dwelling, it is for single family, but they are proposing for professional office, which is allowed for um, plazas, for businesses. This is the re uh, zoning map of the property. Next door, they already have professional office. This property is within the future land use, is within the town corridor of the future land use plan. Um, within the town corridor, prim it's primarily residential with small clusters of commercial. Commercial uses should be neighborhood office and retail, ideally independently owned businesses to sh um, and shops to serve the local area. The existing land use map, um, there is single family on the north, I mean on the south, east, and west of the property. North of the property, it is um, already professional um, office. This is an aerial view of the property. And the Planning and Zoning Commissioners recommend to approve. Okay. Public no. hearing, any comments? Is, is Professional Office G the correct uh, subdivision? I mean, if it's an assisted living professional office, that's the category it would fall under? Yes. Okay. Can I hear a motion? Motion to motion. close public hearing. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 9, public hearing and action on first reading on ordinance number 235-2016-016 to rezone from General Retail H and Apartment H to General Retail H for blocks 22 and 23 of Los Evanos Property Subdivision located at 704 Paredes Line Road. This applicant is also requ um, requesting to rezone their property. Their property is half general retail H and the other half is apartment H, so they're just rezoning it for the entire property to be general retail H. Um, this is located on Butterless Line Road and their proposed use is for medical office, retail, plaza. The zoning map, they're right next door, it is a uh, general retail, and then to the north of the property, it is light industrial, and of course, across the street from butt of this line. This is within the town corridor, which it is primarily for commercial. Some existing line uses of the area are professional printing services to the north, um, to the to the east, there is apartments, single family, across the street on both of this line. There are a car wash and a plaza for insurance. Um, this is the area view of the property. And the planning and zoning commissioners do recommend to approve as well. Public hearing, any comments? If not, I'll entertain a motion to close. Motion to close public comment. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Please, please note that I'm abstaining because that's my neighbor. <laughs> How does that? that oh, would can mean, I do that? No. no and the, and you, 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 I believe city attorney, they can, she can vote since there's a quorum. She makes a quorum. Right. Correct. So yeah, you're fine. You, so okay. you have to make a vote, yes. Okay. Well, does, well can I get in trouble point, for Point of order. Mr. City Attorney, would she uh, be violating any anything no, for? But that no, would break the quorum is, for the meeting. Do we need four votes? Four present votes. Yeah. 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 And so, he, what, so she, what the question one. from from uh, Commissioner De Leon is: If she votes, and it's her neighbor, is she violating anything? If I'm increasing her the value. This is across the street. <laughs> It, 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 I don't think it would be a conflict of interest as long as you didn't have any business interests with that name. 
And nobody can take your place. There's nobody else up there. So I, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's I mean, I just didn't want to. No, 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 no that's that's good. Good. Right. 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 Disclosure, right. disclosure, disclosure is good. Yes. Well, I'm disclosing to the world <laughs> that I'm their neighbor. <laughs> the, the world now knows who your neighbor and it, is. And it, for legal counsel's opinion, it does not constitute yeah. conflict. Okay. Okay. So now we can count all four. Okay. No, then, then I'll vote yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Item number 10. Public comment. Uh, 2016-0113, an application to the local board security grant program, Border Star, to Texas Homeland Security State Administration Agency. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and City Commissioners. With assistance from the Office of Grant Management and Community Development, the Brownsville Police Department will apply for the local border security program grant from the Texas Homeland Security Division. F this will be for funds for overtime for officers to deter and facilitate actions to interdict, interdict criminal activity. Some <coughs> of the committed activities through this grant is to reduce border related crime in Brownsville and deter illegal operations that occur at international bridges. The grant is an annual grant that we submit application for. It's due April 1st, and I'm respectfully requesting your consideration action. Motion to approve. If, if I may, yes. Commissioner Gowan. Um, Ms. Olesi, I have a question. What does this actually tie us to? And the reason I ask this is because we have we apply for all these grants through the mm -hmm. state of Texas and Homeland Security, and it binds our officers' hands to a lot of things. So what do we, we get the money, but what does it come with? What is the kicker? What are our officers going to be responsible for through this grant? Well, I mean, do we just get overtime, or are they now becoming like Border Patrol agents? Are they? They receive overtime for this grant. There is no match required. We do do one-on-ones with each department, so this is something that they're requesting. This is a needs from their department. And so it'll provide for we'll the get the chief answer that somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, and I may add that we've successfully worked this grant over the years, and it really helps us with operations that we determine to, to conduct along that. It doesn't commit us to anybody else telling us what to do. And for example, if we have a border crime, we can actually use grants for funding to pay overtime to investigate those crimes along the border. So it really supplements our ability to, to fund and pay for those things. It really helps the city tremendously. And the reason I ask, Chief, is we, I mean, our police department um, every is seen with very good eyes amongst the community and uh, we really don't want to go beyond the scope of what we do as a police force and that's why I just wanted to know exactly what does it tie us to right and it's really it helps a lot with uh, proactive policing uh, interdiction that we may have some intel that we may we may work um, uh, for example intercepting monies or contraband such things like that it's not it's not really a border presence and having officers on the border just to be on the border it really helps us with our investigative efforts if it helps you, sir, then sure we're on board. Does. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Item 12, consideration action of resolution number 2016-019 to execute an advanced funding agreement between the City of Browns and Texas Department of Transportation regarding the Transportation Alternatives Program District 3 Rapid Implementation Project. Mayor City Commission, this is a... Um, uh, the, the Transportation Alternatives Program is a program that's funded by the MPO. Um, and the money that they the money that they get allocated is specifically for uh, transportation alternatives. So it's it can go to trails, bike lanes, anything that's an alternative to uh, vehicle transportation. So the item before you today is um, uh, the MPO did award the city um, one hundred and seventy eight thousand uh, dollars for. There's two projects. Uh, district. The first item is District Three Rapid Implementation. So this was these were bike lanes. That were identified in our in our bike plan as as a rapid implementation. So we had, so the idea was to do it between uh, zero to three years. Uh, we that's what we called rapid. Uh, so we applied for it. We received it. Uh, we received one hundred and seventy eight thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars. The original match amount uh, to this grant, which is twenty percent, was thirty five thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars. Um, TxDOT has a program that they call economically disadvantaged county. Uh, so that really that really helps us out a lot, and it brings our match down to 3.4 percent of of the total uh, of the total amount. So really, our match in in this project is six thousand six hundred and five dollars, uh, and we do have to pay for engineering costs, which is an item uh, that's uh, down the down the agenda here. Um, so the question the question being, well, where are these routes going to go? Uh, and like I said, these were all identified in our master plan. 
And um, these, th this, these are the routes. So the yellow lines um, are the ones that, um, that will be part of this project. Uh, most of it will be, well, all of it will be on, an on-road system. So it'll be the, the four-foot lane um, uh, throughout, throughout the community. So you, uh, the, the line on your left-hand side here over by Stell, that's Coria Middle School. So uh, it'll connect up to Media Luna, which, as you know, Coria is, is, has a lot of schools, has a lot of uh, traffic, has a library, a lot of uh, civic, civic uh, action. So I think that'll be a very popular route. Uh, and the other one kind of bends around, but it leads into, uh, the, it starts or ends at the Midi Cultural District, and it starts or ends in the Brownsville Country Club along uh, the new San Marcelo uh, Street. So uh, we ask for your approval tonight, um, and I'll entertain any questions. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank Item. you. 13, consideration action on resolution number 2016-020 to execute an advanced funding agreement between the City of Browns and Texas Department of Transportation regarding the Transportation Alternatives Program, International Boulevard Area Bicycling, Bicycling Routes. So this is, once again, um, another, another project that we applied for. We, 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 uh, it's, it's identified in the bike plan. The grant amount is 177250 the original match was 29424 and the, the TxDOT did approve our EDC application, so it's $6,026. Um, th so this is the route um, that, will, that will, be a, I, will be done with this project. And as you can see, it's, it's uh, down international, uh, connects a lot of schools, Canales, Falk, Porter, uh, and it goes into, into the neighborhood, into the neighborhoods in, in uh, primarily in District 1. Um, so we, we look forward to, to, these, to providing these, um, these alternatives to, to people to commute, and uh, we ask for your approval tonight. So all we're paying, Romito, is 6000 uh, 6000 plus engineering. Um, so the engineering is the next item, uh, but it's 20000 per project for the engineering. Uh, so really, we're, we are getting a pretty good, a substantial amount for and and the idea the idea being that you know we're we're implementing the plan and this will this will get us to a larger percentage of, of implementation for that plan. So. And this one will intersect with the Southmost Trail. Up at the uh, top. Yeah, well, the Southmost Trail is over by Port, uh, right next to Porter right. High School, Perfect. so uh, you could go from the bridge all the way to uh, to the Southmost Trail and in, in that in those neighborhoods safely. Awesome. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Purchase bids and contracts, item 14, consideration action to award a contract for engineering services for the contract sum total of $40,209 for the Transportation Alternatives Program Projects, International Boulevard Area Bicycle Rounds, and the District 3 Rapid Invitation Project. So the, the 6,000 is the match, 6,000 for both. Uh, but uh, TxDOT, the, the way TxDOT works is um, they the, the city needs to, to also include the engineering costs. So this is uh, the amount, this is for both projects. Uh, it did go over the 35,000 threshold, so, um, so we brought it to you. Um, and uh, we ask for your approval tonight. I'll entertain any questions. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. You're getting sleepy on me, Mike. Uh, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you again for everybody that, that showed up.